So if you haven't seen the hidden augmented reality animation on the Apple event logo, here's a little trick for you on your iPad and your iPhone. And I'll show you how to even import it into Reality Composer and have the USDC file animation playing for you. So if you go to the Apple event page and you tap on the blue Apple logo, it will go into augmented reality mode and play a USDC animation. So if I tap on this logo now, I'm going to go into AR mode. Just let it load for a second. So the Apple logo will animate into the 915 and this is in augmented reality mode. Just make sure you have enough light and you'll need to move your iPad around until it locates a horizontal surface to pull up the augmented reality animation. If you tap on the screen again, you can go into object mode and watch the animation there. If you go back into AR mode, you have the option to take a photo. And there's a share icon in the top right hand corner that you can send it to somebody or airdrop it to another device. There's also a really cool hidden trick on the logo. If you tap and hold on it and then choose download linked file, you can download the USDZ file. You can see in the top right hand corner, the download manager on Safari is downloading this item and that will be saved into my files app. I can then pull it into Reality Composer and I can set a behavior to make that USDZ file animate myself. And I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing to do is open up Reality Composer and start a new document. And choose a horizontal anchor. Tap on the box to delete. And tap on select edit to delete. Pull up the dock and pull up the files app with a slide over. Find that Apple event.usdz file, 3D touch and drag and drop it into Reality Composer. So here's the Apple event logo and it does animate, but how do we get it to animate? How do you get a USDZ file to animate? You can add a custom behavior and it will animate for us. So let's tap the behavior menu in the top right hand corner. Add a behavior and choose custom. Let's choose tap as our trigger and tap our object. And then for action sequence, I'm gonna choose USDC animation. Make sure I choose that file, it's gone green so I know. If I tap play just to check, it's gonna perform that animation for me. I'm just gonna tap and hold and rotate on my screen. I'm going to test this out by tapping play in the top right hand corner and my trigger was tap so I'm going to tap on the logo and there you can see that the animation now is playing. As we're in Reality Composer and it's a 3D environment you can move around this object and tap and play it from any direction and see what the animation looks like. If you tap AR, it's going to go into AR mode exactly the same as it did from the event web page. Just for a bit of fun, I've added a second behavior on here. So I've kept the same trigger. So when I tap it, it will play the USDZ animation, but it'll also play this action sequence of emphasize. So let's see what happens when I put it into play mode and I tap on the logo. So now it animates into the 915, but it's also got that bit of jiggle and it just gives it a little bit of a different animation. So if you manage to download this file and put it into Reality Composer, try it out with the USDZ animation or try and put on another behavior and see what happens when it animates for the second behavior. So have a little play around with it. Go to the Apple event page, tap on the logo, go into AR mode, go into object mode, see if you can take a photo, see if you can share it or airdrop it to somebody else. And if you want to, tap and hold and download that file and bring it into Reality Composer and even try and add a different type of behavior or even a sound and see what happens to it.